Hi, I'm Katie Tifton with Eagle Public Library. Welcome to Craft and Chat. Uh, this week, we are making faux succulents. <laughs> uh, this is my first attempt. You can see, got the really cute little box that goes with it. So yeah, um, we are making these faux succulents with pine cones and uh, craft paint and a brush and pretty box. <laughs> if it's for those of you like me who can't keep anything alive, we, we try, but just can't. So this is the next best thing because I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I can dust it every once in a while and it's great. So let's get started. Um, if you notice, these are all pine cones and I'll show you what we're using. Right, so to get started, and it's different on the blog um, instructions on how to start. This is actually the last thing I tell, that I'm telling you to do, but I like to do it first and it's totally your call. So I'm gonna move you down. So we got these cute little boxes, just adorable little things on Amazon. They're like two bucks a pop. And what you do is you fill it first with um, plant foam, like uh, florist foam because you're going to want to place this on top. And the nice thing is you can dent it and it'll just <laughs> go right in. Um, I like to have my final space where I'm putting everything ready. So you can, I've used reindeer moss here. Where'd it go? Here it is. I just use reindeer moss as the bed where I'm gonna put my, put my faux succulents. Um, I'm going to actually leave this one blank for right now because that's where the big one's going and we don't really need a big uh, bed for it. Um, and you can do this at the end if you want, but I just like to plan this out first because I know that I will want moss underneath my succulents when I'm done. And that way I can just arrange them and put them on and I don't have to worry about any, about having the bed ready for it. But I'm also a planner, so... <laughs> It's up to you. So in this case, you just take a hot glue gun, throw, 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 that, throw some down, take out the moss. There we go. And you want to arrange it. Oh, we, there's a sequin in here or a leaf that is not the right color. Oh, we don't want that. Go away. So you want to arrange it so that it covers the edge of the foam so you don't see the foam. That's no fun to actually like, you lose the magic with it. There we go. And you'll use all of it as much as you can. And this is just, like I said, this is, I think this is real reindeer moss. It might not be, I'm not sure. It was in our craft bin and I was like, ooh, cool. So let's put that down. And just cover as much of it as you can. If you get a straggler, you get a jumper like that, like this piece right here, put down some more glue, glue that puppy on there. All right. So now, and also it's nice because that way you can have little pieces, you can just pop them on there. No big deal. All right. Because so I can always go back and put more moss where I want it, but for right now, this is all I'm gonna use. So let's put this aside for a moment, put it down here. Now, we're just using pine cones, just regular everyday pine cones and um, go for a walk, find a whole bunch of them. This one is actually half used and we cut it right here. So it had a longer piece and so looked more like that, but, or here's the other piece, more like that. <laughs> But yeah, go out, find pine cones, find the kind you like. Um, and then you don't have to, depending on your container, but you'll wanna cut them in half if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. And may I make a suggestion? These, the smaller ones, these cut really well with hedge clippers, no big deal. These big ones, if you wanna use them, because they've got some really cool bottoms and tops, um, use a skill saw. <laughs> Because I'll show, I'll have make sure to put a picture up on the uh, instructions of the website. But yeah, it broke our like gigantic pair of hair of hedge clippers just trying to get into it. So use the skill saw for the big ones. <laughs> anyway, once they are cut in half, let me show you. Here's a big one that's been cut in half. 
this isn't actually the top that goes with it, but you get the idea. Um, you can use it, you can decide what, what side you like. Do you like the flower side? Do you like the bottom side? Um, here are some smaller ones that I can show you. These, you could, you could see they look like succulents. It's pretty neat. Same thing with these. They actually, well, you can't see that one, but this one you can. Um, they actually kind of look like succulents on both sides. And once they're cut in half too, you, it's nice because you get the smaller ones and you can like stick them in places or do whatever you want with them. But yeah, that one actually really looks like succulent. So I'm gonna put these aside. Oh, and the longer pine cones. Yeah, you get shapes like this. Those are a little harder to paint, but you get the general idea. So let's use these babies right here. These are going to be our bases. And it's, oh, this is, it's the fun thing about this is it is really hard to screw up, which is good. Cause when I do these craft and chats, I like to do things that I um, am not exactly comfortable with and painting is not my forte, but that's okay. Cause you learn as you go. So succulents for the most part are greens and purples and yellows and reds. They, they're all colors. And let's start you want you want some white start with some white and this is all acrylic paint by the way and i think i'm going to start with green so i'm going to use let's do a deep green i really liked that deep green um we're going to use viridian And, and oh, you'll want to mix colors as you go because it just looks better. Let's do Viridian and probably turquoise. Turquoise. Make this a blue green succulent. And you only need to use two or three colors. Maybe, you know, let's go with a grass green. Once you have those popped on there, let's start with a flat succulent. Uh, let's go with this baby right here. Once you have it on, you're gonna take, it's a craft brush because if you use a really good brush, it just like tears into it. So use a craft brush. <laughs> you're gonna take it and you're gonna lift the colors up. And in this case, we're gonna start at the top. So I want more, you're gonna dip them in all. Um, I want more light colors and dark colors. And it's okay if it's streaky because it makes it look more realistic. Uh, you just kind of dump that puppy on there. Give it a little more green. Well, a little bit more of a green blue succulent. There we go. There we go. And as you get lower, you want to pull more of the dark color on there because the top is new growth. There we go. You just kind of like get it in there. Because <laughs> you want the color. It's getting lower, so we're going to use darker. You want the color to show through, not wood. There we go. And you'll see, see how it's changing colors as we go through? It's lighter up top and it's darker at the bottom. That's kind of what we're looking for here. So more dark before we go to the light. And the cool thing with succulents is because they're so varied, even if there's like green paint on your brush and you decide to do a purple one, you can still use the same brush. It's really neat. Okay, so there is a little more green up here. The start of one, there we go. Turn the brush over, get a little darker, there we go. That is a succulent. Super fun, super easy. So if we wanna do, let's see, let's do a purple one while we're here. Same thing, um, let's see. Now let's use this guy right here. We'll do this one. Now for this one, I think I want, 
a darker purple. So, and I'll show you what I mean by mixing colors. There's a dark purple. And then on top of that, we will use more of, where'd you go? Mm, yeah, why not? Let's do a pale purple, pale purple. So we're gonna mix these two together. Make sure we use all the paint. And we've got the white. And let's go with a little light pink just to be different over by the white. And I'll show you that in a minute because that's actually a pretty cool part of this. So I need a different brush this time. Another craft brush to start. Pull a little of the white, just a little bit more of the pale purple than the dark purple and start at the top. Once again, it's okay if it's streaky, streaky, excuse me, not streaky, <laughs> because it is a succulent. Succulents come in all colors, makes it looks more natural. So let's get this up top. Purple, and you will notice how it's starting to get darker purple out in the corners, which is awesome. Now, as we get lower, we're gonna pull more dark purple and get in there. There we go. But yeah, see the streaks on it, especially down there? And I would absolutely love to see what you guys do because you are probably a better painter than I am. <laughs> and I am so curious to see like how realistic you can get your succulents to look. So can you have to get all paint in there? There we go. Some more, let's get some darker purple down here. And layering, I'll show you the layering technique in just a second, is part of succulents, succulent painting. So what we would do next, make sure that all of these are covered. And you want to get the bottoms too, because when you, the bottom of the, um, right here, the underside of the pine cone, because when you look at this, you'll want to make sure that you don't see the wood. What you see is the succulent. Oh, and it's cool because if you notice, I put more, I don't know if you can see more dark purple on the underside to give it a little bit of shadow. It's so neat. It is so much fun, guys. Okay. Oh, and there's part of the pine cone. Yeah, when you do this, you're also going to get like pieces of the pine cone coming out, and that's okay. Just pull them out and keep going. You'll also get like, you want, oh, you want to let them sit for a few days so you don't, you know, get all the bugs and everything. You just let those in your garage or outside somewhere dry. So that's ready to sit. And the next part, let's say you've got the base coat on, you let them dry and you end up with something like this, which in itself is really pretty. But we're going to make it even prettier by accenting it. So we're gonna take our small brush and let's see. Because this is so dark and it's the nice thing is you can use all the paint. Go ahead and take the white and probably hmm, a little bit of, let's be brave here little bit of the teal and a little bit of the purple actually. Start in the center. I'm just going to kind of dab that on. Now what, if you don't like that, just kind of dab it. Because you can work with the shape of the pine cone. And if you don't like what I did there, cover it up. There we go. <laughs> See, just use the same brush. It is so hard to screw this up, it's wonderful. You don't like it, just dab. And you wanna work with kind of like the shape of the pine cone. There are little knobbies on here. And I'm just gently brushing the tip of to give it just a little bit of realistic. Give, make it look a little more realistic. So once again, when you look at succulents, they come in all colors and they are so pretty. So, 
just to make it a little more interesting, a little more realistic. And let's do the same thing. Oh, see, this one came to me already painted. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Let's make this the centerpiece of one. And the nice thing is because it's so big, you guys can see this one is a paint pour, which is um, where you just pour the paint over it. And it works pretty well to get all of the pieces, but it looks kind of um, monochrome. So let's take, let's make it less monochrome. And succulents, a lot of them will have like pink or green or white tips, different color tips from the rest. So let's start by, let's do some purple here too. And that way you can just go through. And you don't want to have the brush so loaded that it looks like terrible. So this would be something just to like make it look a little more realistic. But yeah, and as we go through, Yeah, and if you don't like it, you can always paint over it again. It's so cool to watch, I think. This is my first time doing this one. So once you finish painting these and making them look pretty cool, you have a couple options. If you want, you can um, spray them with shiny shellac to seal, paint sealant and they will look amazing and shiny. <laughs> and then you can arrange them, it's up to you. Or you can just leave them. Once again, it is totally your call. So I don't think I wanna to put too much on there. And just go around, give it just a little bit of an accent. No big deal. You don't have to do the whole thing. You don't have to do any of it. You can make it just as real, like as you can do as little or as much as you want. Okay, so once you have it down, you let it dry. And I'm going to stop here because this is getting, I'm sure this is getting boring for you watching me paint. So you get the idea, you get the basic idea. So then what we would do is we would let it dry, clean off the brushes. And then once that happened, oh, also, because this is so monochrome, what I could also do is take some dark purple or the teal and get the centers. That's what I wanted to show you guys. And it's just, it's so fast and it's so hard to screw up guys, <laughs> which is even better. Because once again, painting is not really my thing, but I really enjoy it. And I wanted to do something that would challenge me. And I'm sure you guys are better painters than I am and can make these look so much better than I ever could. But yeah, just like, there we go. Give it a little depth, give it a little, Um, what's a good word for that? Give it a little character. <laughs> anyway, you get the basic idea. Something like that makes it look a little more realistic. So I would complete that. I'd do the whole pine cone like that if I had time, but I don't. So let's see. Then you get your box out and you would arrange them however you like. Say I want this one and like this guy with him. Maybe you can put that guy here. And that's just a little um, piece of one like this. It's just the top that it survived <laughs> the, um, it survived the shearing, let's put it that way. Uh, what else do 
else would I want to use? So the one thing about the other, there is another type of pine cone in here. And the one thing about it is it kind of doesn't take the paint very well, but it still looks pretty cool. So you can use that for something, maybe put that here. And maybe that guy, we can do this. You get the idea. So then once that, once you find an arrangement that makes you happy, oh, and there's also like that, then you just glue everything down. And there you go, you have your arrangement. I'm gonna take this off because I want to finish this before I put it down. And I will show you the finished one again, just so you have an idea. So then once you are ready, glue it down. And there's your arrangement. All you have to do is dust it. It helps like, oh, you don't have to use Spanish moss. You can also use like um, stones or whatever, dirt, whatever you want to use. I just like the way this looks. Your choice. Anyway, and I also like um, how faux succulent, how succulents, real succulents, they're starting to grab, like it's becoming a thing to graft them together. So I did that with my faux ones and I really, really like them. So I'm going to move you up. Hold on so I can see. Okay. But guys, I would love to see what you come up with because, you know, I can't see it through here. So if you take a picture and then post it, add it to this post on Facebook, that would be amazing because like, I'm really curious to see what you come up with and I'm sure better than anything that I could do. Um, yeah. But that's it guys, thank you for joining me. It's, um, there are directions available on the class website page uh, at eaglepubliclibrary.org that are more, if you forget how to do anything, you know, you want some more detail, that's what they're for. There'll be pictures and I'll also make sure to put a picture of our destroyed shears because <laughs> it was just funny, it exploded, it was amazing. So use a skill saw. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys, my faux succulents and I, thank you for joining us and we hope you have a great rest of your Saturday and you'll join us in two weeks for the next crafting chat. All right, thanks guys. Have a good day, bye.